company that came to Colorado drawing big headlines and tens of millions of dollars in tax incentives is now cutting hundreds of jobs. VF Corporation owns North Face, Bands, and some other outdoor brands. They promised to create 800 jobs here in return for tax credits. Our Steve Steger looks at what happens to those tax incentives as hundreds of jobs are cut. It was quite the offer that sealed the deal for VF Corporation's move from Greensboro, North Carolina to Denver. $27 million in tax credits over eight years, as long as the owner of brands like North Face Vans and Jansport created and kept 800 jobs in Colorado. It was at the time the second largest incentive the state had ever given a company to move here. Uh, and yes, this means that they will be getting a little bit less of that. The Denver Business Journal's Ed Lover reported on that deal at the time and was the first to report last week that VF Corporation is cutting jobs, 600 in total, 300 of which are open positions. VF is a global company with its world headquarters in Denver. A spokesman for that company couldn't tell us how many jobs would be cut in Colorado. And they say that this will not disproportionately affect any area. So if you're doing the back of the envelope math, they're probably letting 15 to 20 jobs go from their Denver headquarters. Could be more, could be less. Colorado's incentives for luring companies are based on jobs created, and they are performance-based. It's not like a company comes in and the state gives them a big pile of money and says, thanks for coming. What it is, it is a 50% break on the annual FICA tax an employer pays per employee. They only get the money for each year that a job is filled. So they don't get anything until they start creating jobs. And even then, it has to be filled for that portion of the year, uh, and the tax is based on the salary they're paying the person as well. According to the latest report from the state's economic development office, as of 2019, VF had already gotten 2 million of the 27 million approved. Essentially what this means is that VF will be getting less tax credit for however many jobs in Colorado it's going to leave open or to lay off it right now. State's Economic uh, Development Office told me that we won't know the impact of these job cuts on the tax incentives VF will get until the company files its annual report in March of next year. Sea Lover tells me that Colorado's not known in the corporate world for its incentives because they don't just back up the Brinks truck when a company gets to town and then just dump a whole bunch of cash in the driveway. They prefer that you earn the incentives yeah. that you're gonna get, uh, which is important in the process because you might be wondering like why would a company want to move here if the incentives aren't great if you can literally get another state to throw money at you yeah well there, there's a lot here that draws people like the talent pool um, the fact that a lot of our residents have master's degrees so you can get you can find a lot of talented people to work it's just you kind of have to have something on the table so i mean obviously like denver's not a dump like people want to come <laughs> yeah. here anyway but yet we still are offering these incentives, what, just to be competitive because companies expect them everywhere? Think about it. If you are a CEO of a company and you go to your board and you say, I want to move to one of these three states, your board's probably going to come back at you and say, like, well, what are they going to give what you to you move? Because everybody's given something. Yep. Colorado's got to offer something. They just would prefer that there's a little bit of performance-based economics with it. Like, if you want to earn the incentives, show that you're creating the jobs. It's like when I know I'm going to a store to buy something, but I'm still like, you got a coupon? Because I'm cheap. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to buy it anyway, but you got a coupon? Because I'm a cheap guy. All right, yeah. Steve, thank you.